Separation by barrier. It's a little bit less common, but it is nowadays growing in importance, especially because it's getting more convenient as the energy requirements are getting more and more convenient for this type of applications. And the materials are getting relatively cheaper and readily easy to obtain and so on. It's usually a polymer ceramic cell light membrane, which involves a gas or liquid feed. So you can see here the feed and exploits the differences in species permeability through the barrier. This is essentially a microfilter. Of course, we're talking about permeability, not filtering or size particle per se. But the idea is that this membrane is going to act as a separator. The material that passes through will be called the permeate and the material that does not pass through the membrane will be called the retentate. So typically, as you can imagine, the feed will be, of course, permeate plus retentate. And what you want to do is, of course, exploit the conditions in order to maximize your conditions. Semi-permeable barriers, microporous or non-porous membranes are also common. Materials are nowadays hard to, uh, to predict because as time passes by, there is every time something new to the technologies. Actually, I have seen a lot of membrane technologies as a unique masterclass, not only as a small section in a separation process, but as a master or PhD subject or course which you can be taking. So membranes are definitely uh, getting track on pharma industry, I would say also in petrochemicals. So definitely worth checking out by yourself. If you're interested, maybe I can provide you from for several links, prof, uh, how to say, books, references, and so on.